Hey, McDowan here. Today we are taking a look at the Upgrade Shark accessory sets from Jazzwares for the 4-inch Fortnite action figure line. I got these bundled with a couple of action figures from Amazon. These bundles are $14.99 each and come with one figure and two Upgrade Sharks. At some point in the future, stores should have these for about $3.99 each, just like the Mythic Goldfish. If we flip these things around, the backside does tell you we we'll get these flipped around here. The backside does tell you exactly what is included in each of these. There are actually six of these, but I only have four of them. Two more are still in the queue waiting to get shipped at some point in the future when it's available. Now I'm going to quickly show you the barcode for each of these. Here's the barcode for Upgrade Shark number one. Here's the barcode for Upgrade Shark number two. Here's the barcode for Upgrade Shark number three. And finally, the barcode for Upgrade Shark number four. I think it's time to get these things opened. If you're new to the channel, welcome, and please subscribe so you'll be notified of future videos. If you want to help the channel out and you play Fortnite, please feel free to add my creator code to your Epic account. It's McDowan. I opened up the first three already, but I thought I'd show you on camera how to open the fourth one. It's pretty easy. Once you remove the exterior wrap, then there's this cardboard piece on the back. It's uh, attached just by a piece of tape there. And so if you want, you can rip it off. You can keep it on, whatever you want to do. But behind there is another piece of plastic that's got a peel here. So you just grab this and rip that thing open. Pull these things out and... Then you've got your shark um, storage container, which we'll <laughs> talk about later. Anyway, so that's how you open it, and then you just go ahead and slice it, rip it, pull it, whatever, just to get that thing open, and that's how you do it. Now we got all these accessories sitting out here. Kind of scoot them over here. So all of these come with some sort of like special accessory, a burst accessory, and two color changing weapons and so before we get into anything else i have some water here cold and warm i thought we could take a peek at what how i mean color changing isn't really anything special or i mean it's a cool fun little gimmick but uh you know it's fun to see it so here's a charge shotgun and these weapons feel about the same quality they don't Actually, you know, if you ask me, maybe they feel feel just a little bit stronger or stiffer. I don't know. Um, they have a they do have a bit of a different feel. So, here is the hot water on the right side and cold water on the left side. Let's see. Does anything change? Not really. Let's try the cold side. Hmm. Not seeing a whole lot of change there. Gonna set that over here. I have a tissue here. Now the rocket launcher here actually kind of looks like it's in partial. It has like a lighter color and then a darker color. Let's see if hot water. Oh, okay. Now we got some difference. Look at that. So hot water makes it lighter. And there. Cold water. Colder water. Kinda kind of gives it a <laughs> put the whole thing down in there scoot these together okay we'll put this in here and there you go we got some color changing happening here so the charge shotgun didn't seem to really do a lot of changing let's grab a let's see is this a suppressed submachine gun maybe it's just a submachine gun let's try cold water uh don't really see a difference there let's try hot water okay now i see a little oh it's very subtle let me see if i can uh bring this closer i'm gonna bring i don't want to let's see so it looks like it kind of was like i'm gonna dry this just a little bit like a bit of a blue compared to a green so I'm going to duck it back in here again. And then you can see the difference. It's a little bit bluer here than the little bit of green that's up there. 
So that's more of a subtle. Let's see if the charged shotgun does that as well. I have to admit, my hot water cooled off since I started the video. Okay, so yeah, there, you can see it. There's a bit of blue, and there's a bit of green, so it does change color. It's just a lot more, it's not as strong of a, yeah, there you go, a green charged shotgun. So it's not nearly as strong. Let's see, here's an assault rifle. So I'm guessing the silver part doesn't change color. I'm guessing you're actually seeing which accessories are in here at the moment, so I won't have to go over these, right? So let's see. If I put this in hot water... So it looks like, if you can tell the difference, this is a bit of a lighter color, and that's a bit of a darker color. It seems to go back pretty quick. Let's see. Let me uh, try to focus my camera in here. There we go. Okay, so hot water, warm water. So there you go. You can kind of see it's a little bit lighter color than this green color. It seems to maybe... Yeah, it's more of a, a warm water now. It was really hot, but it was almost too hot. Well, let's take a look at the rest of this stuff. So we have an assault rifle here. Let's see. Can you put your hands on it? Let's see. So, just putting fingers on it, because your, your body has natural heat. So you could actually put your fingers on it, and that will eventually change it as well. You can dip it in the hot water. We got this color. Dip it in the cooler water. Then we got this color. That's kind of cool. I mean, it's a fun little gimmick. I just got to say, even though it's a gimmick, it's kind of fun, because as you hold these things, like, say, like the rocket launcher, if you hold it and are trying to put it in the someone's hand and look it's going to change a little bit color why are they doing changing color i don't know why why did they come up with this it's not really color color changing the game except for maybe this is their way of doing you know some of the wraps in game change they kind of move around and are, are animated that's the correct word they're animated on the accessories so maybe this is like their way of attempting to have like bring the bring an animated one i know these are not an official wrap so we have a pump shotgun legendary epic something like that pump shotgun and that's going to change color as well and a cooler water which it's funny they're probably getting to be closer in temperature now but you can still see there's a bit of of change there and there's still one more. Uh-oh, I got my uh, my thing wet. Oh, well. Uh, a little bit of water leaked down. <laughs> it almost looks like a blood stain now because the back of this white paper is red. <laughs> so it looks like something bled there. <laughs> so anyway, just by having wet, warm hands, this changed color. So let's make it official. And the other way. So yeah. Look at that. That's that's fun. That's neat. Uh, color change. I, I, I've always liked that. I remember I had some color change Hot Wheels. Some G.I. Joes were color change. Transformers sometimes have the color change bot symbol. You put your thumb or your finger on it and it would reveal, reveal if it's a Decepticon or an Autobot. So I will have to change my background <laughs> later. Good thing this is not my new permanent background. So anyway... All right. Oh, we missed one. We missed a, a regular pump shotgun here. Oh, let's give it a try real quick. Let's scoot all this stuff back in here real quick. So, pump shotgun, it's kind of a greenish blue. These ones I don't think work nearly as well. It's supposed to go, I think, from a green. like a, It'll be bluish in hot and greenish in cold. I don't know that these ones are working nearly as well. But uh, the whitish purple, definitely. I think this needed to be a, a stronger color difference. But yeah, pop, pump shotgun. Now that we've looked at all the weapons, let's take a look at the accessories. I'll just leave things as they are. So over here, we get a molten spicy fish. There it is. Look at that thing. It's like a puffer fish just dark and gray and orange <laughs> look at those eyes it's got a little mouth there it's spiky it's actually almost feels like a 
he could he could almost be like a, a rubber bouncy ball <laughs> but not it doesn't bounce nearly as well uh, all the pieces sticking out of it are are a bit soft but it's a hard hard middle section there we get a chug splash that's cool uh, I could probably hold on uh, put it in somebody's hand with this little handle right there but a chug splash this is cool I love that we're getting these little accessories just a little extra details um, just a it's world building I, I was gonna mention that in the vault review this is just like world building we need the accessories we've got a lot of figures but we need some extra things all right so here we have a small crash pad I want a big one who wants an inflatable something that you can blow up and it's like a big crash pad that would be fun next we have a firefly jar and look at that there's like little little uh, fireflies okay I know there's some customizer out there who's really snazzy really smart I would challenge you to open this up and get like a small LED in here or something so that this could glow like a firefly jar so this sticks out enough that you could have someone hold it on hold hold it on <laughs> hold on to it like this that would be pretty neat but yeah this is awesome I love these these little details these little extra things so neat these neat little accessories then we get burst effects that's right we get all the same burst effects they're all the same one that's fine let's just kind of like hook them together hey it works too why am I doing that I have no idea it just seemed like hey it'll work right okay spending way too much time doing that but anyway some burst effects for your gun so let's get an assault rifle an assault rifle now you want to be careful when you put these burst effects on in the past on occasion if these were the front of the guns were just a little bit weak if holding it by the gun like this and doing this shoved it on sometimes you would people would bend their gun so hold it by the barrel at the very end and just gently tuck it on there it doesn't go on real far so it's enough though you know it's just enough so let's see it's like a submachine gun that's not gonna go on there uh, let's see so here's a pump shot actually no let's do this uh what is this compact submachine gun here yeah i'm doing it the way i told you not to but that i thought would hold it a little better but yeah compact submachine gun with burst effect and an assault rifle another assault rifle actually a basic assault rifle there we go i like these these are fun little addition now let's see we got a shotgun let's do this shotgun here will it fit on there i think it just might so there we go not sure if a shotgun really makes this kind of a burst effect but you know what i just made it do that boom whatever and i just dropped my chug splash but yeah pretty neat there's a lot of i got stuff still on paper towel there <laughs> a lot of cool stuff here uh mixed in all this stuff so you know the big prize really are these if you like burst effects for your guns these are great oh by the way i wouldn't recommend storing burst effects on the guns because if it bumps or goes sideways it could like earlier i mentioned it could bend the tip a little bit and you'll kind of screw up your gun but yeah i think the prizes are here are the burst effects some of these little accessories and you know if you like color change stuff i do i think these are pretty neat i hope we get more of these types of things in the future color change of different weapons i you know i like having rarities of all the weapon each rarity of each weapon and then each kind of what i call gummy weapons of each weapon and now i want some color changing of each weapon and then you know what i really would want this is my super huge desire for a lot of weapons going forward mixed in with various groups of weapons we've had in the past i want more wraps give us some more wraps I love the candy cane wrap it's my favorite uh, holiday season wrap but there's still there's so many other cool wraps out there that we could get so yeah jazzers keep keep giving us different wraps for different weapons that would be pretty neat so I think that's just about what I have for you today um uh, just like the mythic goldfish you, 
So, okay, this is what I was going to talk about earlier. So, on the back, number one accessory says upgrade shark storage. And I didn't rip this all the way off because I was going to point out that it does say that this is storage. Well, you can't really call this storage when you can't shut it, I don't think. I'm not sure when you rip this all the way off, you have this half open shark. How do you call that storage? So, I don't know what they're meaning by storage. So, yeah. Anyway, but just like the mythic goldfish, you can't really call them storage without some way of being sealed or, or a lid. The color change gimmick is always fun. I enjoy it, and I think others do too. And the sharks have some pretty unique items with these extra accessories here that, you know, there's a chance we may, this may have been the only way to get some of these things. I need to stay in focus here. But this may be like the only way to get, say, a firefly jar or maybe some fish. I don't know. We might get some of this stuff in the future, but for now, this is a great way to get us this stuff. Uh, anyway, I'm always down for accessory packs. Accessory packs just seem fun. It seems like, I don't know, extra little things to load out your characters, your figures with. So yeah, I'm always down for accessory packs. And I'm anxious. We still actually, this is only four of them. There are still two to go. So I'm really anxious to see what's in those last two. We got some more color changing weapons. Some more of whatever. I should look them up. Whatever the accessories are. And, of course, we have two more storage <laughs> containers coming. Sorry. I don't mean to harp on that, but that's just kind of funny. Anyway, now it's your turn. What do you think about these things and all these accessories and these sharks and so forth? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. But before you head out, if you haven't yet, look at the next great playset accessory set, The Vault that I reviewed just a few days ago, and it's down there in the lower left corner. It's, it's a great playset with a lot of neat, bigger accessories. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like this video and share it everywhere if you enjoyed it, because it really will help the channel to grow. I will see you in the next video.